who am I quickly? Uh, my name is Matthias Karlsson. Uh, I'm a partner senior architect at the Microsoft partner called Vcom in Gothenburg, Sweden. Uh, I'm also a Microsoft Azure MVP. I've been for a couple of years. I'm also like debugging code. So I'm a part of the Oscar Magician community. I'm also an open source maintainer, mostly on .NET developer tools and cloud tools. And these but not least, the most important, Hafner 1 and Faro 2. Not that way around. <laughs> so, that's, uh, this talk's gonna be talk about MVP, and not the Microsoft MVP, but minimal viable product. Uh, and we'll talk about proof of concept, the red thread. And this is based on actual events, but for dramatic purposes, it's been reacted. And what you're going to see here is not going to be uh, best practice. It's, uh, but it's going to be a good example or showcase what you can do. And about a year ago, I wrote a blog post about using Azure Functions as a service option to validate and uh, do pull request validation. So I can do extra linting, extra checking, and all this via GitHub status. And on that, I got a reply. It's really slow now. Huh. Um, and for those who don't know who Maria Fall is, it, it got one day. One day, okay, and that got me thinking that one day is going to be today. So, about oh, eight minutes and 56 seconds later, success. My story was my service was live, uh, it was in production with CI CD and everything. And what was this service? Well, the idea, basically, is the backstory of who is Maria Foley. Oh. So she's been writing on Microsoft for like almost three decades. And mainly she has a, is a host of one of the podcasts I'm listening to. And that podcast always ends, or almost always ends with three things. It ends with an enterprise pick of the week. And it ends with a code name pick of the week and a beer pick of the week. And if there's one thing, if you've been following my phone, her favorite program on Windows of all is Notepad. So she does all her writing in Notepad. So that was like the basis for my idea. So what, what was my idea? Well, an enterprise grade beer picking Twitter bot. So the big new thing is like someone tweets to an account and they get a beer pick. So that's the enterprise grade pick of service. So step one, we, of course we need to register an epic Twitter account. Step two. We need to monitor for tweets. And the problem in my startup was, well, often with startups, uh, you're often low on money or low on time. I was low on both. Uh, so I, like, I needed a free service to monitor for tweets. And that's like really easy, because they have, if then and that has ready recipes. So basically, if someone mentions give this full list of service, it can, you can have a recipe for this to do something. And I don't want to stand up my own server for this or something. And I want some enterprise-grade storage. So I choose uh, GitHub issues. Uh, for my, so very, every time someone tweeted, I had this recipe. So if you tweet this, I will raise an issue in this GitHub repository. And 
This was really nice because someone tweeted. And an issue was raised, and I have my enterprise grade storage there. The good thing about things like Azure Functions is that it can have triggers. And these triggers can be things like webhooks, queues, storage events, etc. You can have inputs, and these inputs can be like tables, blobs, SQL data, and whatnot. And you can have outputs, which can be HTTP or output to a queue or output to a table or SQL or whatnot. So basically, I chose a trigger, which is already made. They have a ready binding for GitHub webhooks. So I and I choose an output, which was an Azure storage queue, which is, can scale infinitely as a serverless option. And the nice thing about bindings is that you can, it's not basically, you buy just the declare two objects, either in the all in the JSON format, or you can do it with the UI, uh, or you can now also uh, with the compiled functions do it with attributes and things like that, but that will essentially generate that JSON. So we have a simple binder with a GitHub webhook, and we output a queue. That's the whole function. So something happens to GitHub, it will put it on a queue. And the function, um, essentially, just parses out what I need to know. So I parse out uh, the GitHub comment. From that comment, I parse out who tweeted, what did I tweet, and um, things like that. And I put that back on the queue. This is really easy in GitHub because you can just configure a webhook. So my newly compiled function, I can add it to this webhook. And I can also choose to just get the issue events. Uh, I filter it in my function, but I also choose to only get those events. And the whole functions has built in so I can validate the secret key and so you get uh, an authenticated call from GitHub. Then I need a function that triggers uh, on this queue and has input data and output data. And what did this I do in this case? Well, the input was the storage queue, the message from GitHub. I put that on queue because I wanted to be able to scale. So just GitHub needs answer quickly, so I just put it in a queue and says thank you. And then I needed something simple for that scan. I didn't have money, so I choose OneDrive, which function has already binding for. So I have a beertips.txt. Because that Mary folder can open with Notepad. So I have my admin UI ready. I have my storage ready. So, and the output is Twitter. Well, the Twitter API can be a bit cumbersome, and you need to go OAuth tokens and security and things like that. But there's a service that actually Buffer has a really simple API to queue tweets for free. And basically, it's just an HTTP post. So the bindings was basically a GitHub issue queue. That's the whole binding. You have my beer file on OneDrive. If you do, do it in UI, it's like basically just two bindings, and you're done, your whole connection. And the code for this is amazingly hard. This is the whole service, basically. It will load the file from uh, OneDrive, parse out the, the GitHub issue, and basically post a retweet and randomly load a, a beer pick from the file. So if we go a, a demo, I can just send a tweet, or I can just do this. Yeah, let's move over. Because this I can probably do. We have speaker view, but I can. Let's 
or with our chickens, you can see. Someone has mentioned it. Let's see. Let's go here so it's big and nice. So basically, the premise, if you go here, someone has already tweeted, so that's nice. Cool. So what we do I'm hoping the internet works as always. Foley as a service. Bear pick for well, if we can spell and type and so. And where are we? Well this one. And we also of course need this hashtag. Perfect. And let's see if I if it arrives. Oh, I get the tweet, so it's something's working. Let's see. Oh, cool. Hopefully, I will get if everything works in the demigods a notification. Fast internet. I'm clicking. I go over here. Oh, many. <laughs> Someone else using. Oh, cool. Uh, let's see. Hi, many. Someone. A lot of people. Let's see. I love this. Let's see. Did it go? Oh, I got the retweet here. It's not the internet is slow there. <laughs> Let's see. We can go to Foley service. Come on. Oh, cool. So I got, this was my pick for me, Seth Pilsner. Someone else did a tweet too or so. So they got the Westbrook Brewing Company. And these are actual tips that she, she has done on the podcast. Let's go into speaker mode here. So what do we see now? This enterprise grade system. Well, it was if, then, and that. to GitHub, to Azure Function, to an Azure Storage Queue, to Azure Function again, pick something from OneDrive, send it to Buffer, tweet, success. And it's certified. And this all to show like it's really easy to make the functions the glue between apps. The ready like this total app is an 150 second, well, almost 120 lines of code, including JavaScript schema. And the conclusion I can get is the strength with both us is in the code you don't write. Because I have no queuing polling code. No code to hook to that. Basically, I just configure and do the business value. I parsed what I needed from the issue. Basically, what that was I, what I did. I tweeted the information I needed via a retweet API. And I fetched. Which, like, anyone that's worked with a OneDrive API will know that it's a pain. Here is just connect to this and have an auto token. All secure and just the binding. So that's the real strength. And you can quote me on that. Any questions? <laughs> yeah.